What up YouTube? This is John Snow speaking from John Snow Sports and Fitness and today I'm going to talk about the San Antonio Spurs and the Miami Heat advancing to the next round and I'm going to answer a special email question. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I want to say that I am not surprised by either team advancing. Things are starting to play out exactly how I predicted that they would. Now, let's start off with San Antonio. There's a great saying that says, innovation is rewarded, execution is worship. And that right there correlates directly to what the San Antonio Spurs are doing and why they have been so successful under Greg Popovich. Now, here's why they're so successful. Greg Popovich has this uncanny ability to turn to make role players better than they should be. He puts them in the greatest position to succeed and he minimizes their weaknesses and hides their deficiencies better than any coach I've ever seen besides Phil Jackson. Now, it's not just Pop. He's got three good players. They're a little past their prime except Tony Parker, but they're still good enough to get the job done and that's why they've been so successful I'm not surprised that they advance Portland Trailblazers are an up-and-coming team though I, I really like the culture they built around with that team with Damian Lillard and LaMarcus Aldridge as the forefront as the as the genesis of the team and whatnot and they've, they've really done a lot of big things they really built solidly around those two guys they got a solid group of role players but in the end, experience won out, and Popovich was, was and is the superior coach. He had the superior strategy, and he advanced to the next round. Am I surprised by this? Not at all. Not in the slightest. Now, to go on to the Miami Heat. Now, the Miami Heat are completely different to the San Antonio Spurs. Miami Heat, they rely more on athleticism than than the San Antonio Spurs do. The San Antonio Spurs are more of a ball movement oriented team, more of a team style approach, whereas the Miami Heat, they get most of their offense from the big three. The, about 60% of their offense comes from LeBron. He creates things, he scores a lot of points, and then the rest of the offense comes from Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, and Ray Allen contributes a lot as well. He's a very crucial cog in their rotation, and He's really effective off the bench. Now, I wasn't surprised by this. I did a video a couple months ago on when 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 the when the Brooklyn Nets swept the Heat in the regular season. I said that they would be difficult, but they would not be impossible to overcome. And the Brooklyn Nets, as I was as I predicted, didn't last long enough. They're they were on their last legs. This that team's a little too old. They need to freshen up a bit. They need to acquire some younger talent. Brooke Lopez needs to stay healthy for them to have any success against the Miami Heat, who are, who are not going away anytime soon so long as LeBron is on the team. Folks, whether you like him or not, give the man his due. He's the best player in the game, whether you like it or not. When Kobe was the best player in the game, he was acknowledged. When Jordan was the best player in the game, he was acknowledged. You catch my drift. Now, here's what I'm going to say about Miami. As long as they have LeBron James, they're probably going to be the favorite to win the NBA championship. I don't see anybody on his level, not even close. Now, unless he retires early like Jordan did, I, I don't see anybody that can beat the Miami Heat with a healthy LeBron. Now, if he plays hurt, that's different. That's a different story. Disregard what I've just told you. But... The, the thing with the Heat that makes them so effective is just LeBron's overall greatness, how he how he's able to distribute the ball, rebound, play great lockdown defense. That's a that's a really underrated part of his game that nobody nobody seems to notice. No one notices the dirty work. The, uh, everyone notices the sexiness of his game. They notice the offense, the dunks, all the highlight reel plays he creates, which are good by the way. They're fantastic, but no one gives him credit for his greatness on defense and how 
how efficient he is in locking down the team's best player. Okay, that covers the two series. Now I'm going to answer an email question and a question that I've been getting a lot in general. And it says, John, what is your advice for women on weight training? Okay, I, I covered this in another video, but I actually like talking about it, so it's not a problem. Look, women, you're not going to get as big as I would get weight training. Your testosterone levels are not as high as men, so do not be afraid to lift weights. It's actually going to make you look really good if you weight train. You're not, you're not going to have a, a saggy, a saggy, you know, you know what, I don't, I don't want to be inappropriate. If you squat, it's going to shape your glutes and your hamstrings and quads. Same with deadlifts. Underrated. This is really underrated for glute development. No one talks about this, so I, I'm going to claim this for my own. Hip thrust. Do the hip thrust. Very, very effective exercise for glute development. And you can also do constant tension on squats. You can do squat jumps. Anything. So women, do not be afraid to weight train. It will make you look a whole lot better. This is John Snow speaking from John Snow Sports and Fitness. Subscribe to the channel for the latest sports analysis, sports updates, fitness advice, fitness advice for athletes, and all things related to sports and fitness. Diamonds are forever, and so is John Snow. This is John Snow speaking. Peace out.